Henry Knaub is on the right with his soon-to-be wife Patricia Knaub. They were married December of 1952. One year after they were married, Laura was born, followed by Mary in 1954, and then Elizabeth joined the family in 1963. Next was Daniel in 1967. Henry Canal worked as a purchase manager for the carrying company, which built the famous Skytrack cranes. When off, he would find time to take the family on vacation. Henry also very much enjoyed sports. Vacation was always a fun time for the family. Here, Henry gets a home run. He was an outdoorsman. Whether it be hunting, fishing, boating, he enjoyed it. If it was outside, he did it. One of his favorite outdoor activities was hunting. As a matter of fact, he raised a family of hunters. My first year, I was fortunate enough to learn from Henry. However, as time went on, his Parkinson's hindered him from hunting. As time grew, so did the family. Laura had four children, Mary had two, Elizabeth had three, and Daniel had one. He had four children and 12 grandchildren. It was not uncommon for family to spend summers deer hunting and some Christmases at Henry and Pat Knaub's house. He was a hard-working American man, but it all changed when he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. What does it mean to have Parkinson's? Oh, Max, it's, it's just unbelievable. You don't know when you're going to get tremors. Or you just shake all over. Another thing that you get, you can be in some particular position, like I'm sitting here at the, on, on this chair. and. It feels as if you have your feet in a bucket of cement because they can't move. And like the one doctor told me, he says, Henry, he says, this is one of the feelings you get out of it. And just stop for a minute while you're a beast stopped. But think of when you're, when you're there and then decide to make, you're going to take one big step in what direction it's going to be and do that and you find it'll break the 
what the cement that you've got on your feet, and it, it, it works, but it's, uh, it's, it's funny thing to go through. Another thing that is the, the stuttering that you, you, you can have in your speech, the writing, which I was very, very proud of from the time I was a little boy, then going through grade school and all that, and all the schooling and then business, I had very good handwriting, and both in letters and in uh, numeric. But it, it, it goes; it, it's not there, and it's not something that you're. How long can I say it? There's medicines and stuff that can not really cure this. There is no cure for it at the present time, but they've got the medicine there that helps. And what we need really is life's that happened so many diseases. Uh, you got to have the hope that it's going to come about, that there will be discovery that uh, there is something that can be done and I look at you as an, uh, my grand, one of my grandsons and all the others we've got and it's like in this room here we've got things that were for the golfing we've done and the hunting we've done and the fishing we've done I, I, I can't do that I, I can sit and read a book Thank God for that. Uh, I'm able to take communion. So it's so. Uh, I don't know what I want to say. I just pray every day that something will be found. <laughs>